Bringing primary weapon online. Primary weapon offline. Secondary systems operational. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chris from PR Game Fit, and I've been playing The Surge today, and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of pretty much what is the first boss. His name is Pax. It took me a couple hours to reach him in the game, depending on how fast of a player you are or how quick you're running through. Um, two hours is probably pretty solid. Could take you an hour. I don't know. But he's a huge, huge pain in the ass, and it probably took me like an hour to actually kill him and to figure out how to defeat him. I think this game is going to be pretty hard, I just want to say first of all. But you can see early on in the fight that I do make a couple mistakes, but the best way to describe my strategy is you basically just want to put a lot of distance between you and the boss. And basically about right now, you basically just want to put a lot of distance, run between his legs, take a couple chops at one of his legs you can see I missed later on I'll toggle onto it and it makes it a lot easier you can just stay toggled onto one leg I don't think you can actually destroy one leg even though you can break some of the armor off potentially making it weaker but I didn't notice any additional damage but my weapons are pretty weak at this point I love this ripsaw it's pretty dope but so if you're watching closely, you can see I'm putting a lot of distance between myself and the PAX robot and just missing. I just totally whiffed right there. But those are the attacks that you want to stay away from when he actually uses those like machete knife arms that he has. You definitely want to stay away from that. And he has a really sweet, like uh, kind of like a medium range that will toggle that attack for him but it has really is fast and it has good range so if you're in that range point he'll definitely hit you with both and like take a lot of damage especially for any character i'm assuming early on in the game i'd load it out with like the heavier armor so i thought i would be a little bit tougher but he deals a lot of damage and this is the tricky part too so potentially you get gotten to the point where you build up the orange meter and he'll start to launch the missiles. Now, you can't just dodge the missiles because nothing will happen. What you have to do when the missiles come out is run under him so that one of the missiles hit him and then he'll go down into his vulnerable state where you can actually deal damage to the red bar or his actual health bar. So to reiterate, and you can just keep watching the video in, in its entirety and you'll kind of, you'll pretty much see what I was doing is just trying to keep a lot of distance and and stay out of of that distance to where he would use his um, swords so like I put a lot of distance between myself and then I'll run through one of the legs and take a couple chops because like he always goes for that weird like lunging attack like once you're running towards him in between his legs like every time no matter what and then Anytime he jumps, don't stay there with him because he'll start to use the swords or potentially he'll start to use the swords. Not all the time. A lot of times he'll do the stomp too. But as soon as he starts stomping, you want to uh, run away from him and get it, put as much distance between him as you can. And see there he jumps, and I, so I put distance between myself. And so anytime you want to hit is right here when you run through his legs, swing twice with with the the rip saw i mean that's what i did and then he'll stomp and you see i probably could have got some shots in there but you really don't want to trigger the swords like right there see i got punished for it and, and that's what happens so it's, you really just want to take you don't want to get greedy because this dude will annihilate you you really just want to get two swings in anytime you do go for anything more like you see there i got punished and this battle actually was really, really close. Even though I had the science down, it was still really close because I still got punished any time I tried to go for more than two strikes or any time I tried to stay in the range. But you see there, I built his bar up and then, and then I just ran under him and he hit himself with missiles and now I can deal real damage. So that's the takeaway is you want to keep a lot of distance, make sure he's not using the swords run through the middle of his legs and here I did I got lucky because he jumped anytime he was jumping though I ran away 
well in the later part of the fight but that's what I was trying to do so it's like anytime he does anything other than the lunging tack you just want to put distance in between yourself see like right there I knew to play it safe so I just moved away went in here he goes for the lunge two strikes jump away get my distance and then he comes in I sneak one in there but you see he wanted to go for the he wanted to go for the knives bros he wanted to go for the knives so move up lunge attack two strikes distance immediately get distance See, and there he jumped, and I played it safe, and I just moved back. That's where you want to get him. You want to get him to where he's walking to, lunge attack, two strikes. This is going to be really funny to see the comments underneath, because it's going to be like, oh, lunge attack, two strikes. Like, I'm going to say it like a million times. But the boss is really hard. Like, he's really hard if you do anything other than this. Like, you see the blades? He has so much range with those blades, and they're really strong. I mean, they'll take, like, half your health bar. He can kill you really fast. See, in there, I'm just staying like I'm way too close to him, I'm way too close. So when he jumps, I got to get away, run through the legs, lunge attack, two strikes. Jump between the legs, two strikes. See, the missiles are coming down. I'm going to get in there and do some real damage. And this, this I mean, it, it might take you a little while. And you could probably switch your weapons up right there, too. If you wanted, I like I was saying earlier, I'm like a really big fan of the ripsaw, like the one-handed sword. I think it just cuts people's equipment off really well, um, and I like its speed and how much stamina it uses, and how easy it is to get back to your normal stance to where you can dodge. Like it doesn't take a lot of time to swing it, it doesn't take a lot of stamina, and you can get out of encounters quickly with it. So right now it is my favorite and I just unlocked the, the Pax Blades because you will get his weapon after you defeat him after you use my method through the legs, lunge, two strikes, get your distance. When the missiles come, run right up under him so that his missiles hit himself. That's how you do it. I spent a lot of time like trying to dodge the missiles and, and trying to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do and it dawned on me like, oh, its missiles were probably hitting him every time. Like, I probably died, like, I don't know. Probably, like, six or seven times trying to figure this boss out. And I know there's people out there that did it, like, way easier than me. I'm sure there is. And that's great for them. But um, it took me this long to figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you defeated Pax using this video. If you did, please comment below in the comment section. Again, I made, like, a really quick stream earlier of like an early review and just kind of like my thoughts on the game you can check it out i'm sorry for all my lawyer subscribers that i haven't been making tons of videos but i've been really busy with school and college and stuff so i appreciate you guys sticking around thanks for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one so